today it's, I'm going to discuss a little bit about uh, this whole bait business on me making some uh, rubber baits. Uh, first off, I'm making these baits mostly for uh, lake conservation uh, for my grandfather's lake and for other lakes out there in, all, in the uh, Ohio region and uh, also other regions uh, around that area. But I'm uh, my goal is to uh, raise enough money to help uh, effectively with um, with uh, lake uh, conservation, whether it be stocking bass or uh, different types of fish, or uh, helping you know take away uh, chemicals that are harmful to fish or people in lakes, and um, that's kind of the problem that my grandfather's lake is uh, suffering uh, right now. Uh, he's got white algae uh, in his lake, which is probably the worst type of algae uh, that a lake can have. It smells awful. It's it's killing some fish. It's really causing some really bad bacteria problems. Um, and this can be fixed through uh, different technologies of uh, sonar that can be placed underwater. Though uh, these sonars are expensive, and my goal is to uh, take the majority of the money I make and put it towards uh, these sonars that uh, take away this uh, bad white algae. And the rest of the money I, I usually will uh, put towards this channel or uh, fishing in the Midwest uh, online and, and just trying to work harder on uh, making these. Uh, this uh, this channel much better. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me how I make this. Some people have asked me how, how I make these uh, baits. I'm going to show you a mold of uh, some of the baits that I've just recently ordered. Right here, I've got a, a little goby mold, just with like a little uh, sharp tail. And what I'll be doing with this is uh, I ended up with a pumpkin seed color and a, uh, a kind of a, a thicker uh, plastic than I usually use. And I'm not going to tell you how specifically I make this, but I'm going to show you the mold and I'm going to tell you that I do use a secret formula which I'm still working on for multiple other baits. I use separate formulas for different baits. And right here I've got like a little polywog uh, as you can see right here. And this is a really really great uh, mold for uh, for bass and uh, hopefully hopefully I sell a lot of these. But um, I also want to thank uh, uh, Robbie Loop 08, uh, Bassmaster 33, uh, fishing and comedy, uh, the elite fisherman, um, hook and fish online for uh, all replying uh, to my videos. If I miss anyone, I'll put uh, the description right there on who I missed right there. If I did miss anyone, but I want to thank you guys for uh, giving me the input. Um, you know, Bassmaster, he gave me the idea of uh, doing uh, deadly seven seven inch worms. I thought that was a great idea, uh, kind of making the uh, baits uh, three different types of uh, red. Kind of like a blood red, a uh, thick, kind of cloudy red, you know. I think that's a really good idea, and thanks, Bassmaster. Uh, Robbie Luke gave me the idea for the, the creeping craw uh, idea. I really like that idea, man. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, um, uh, uh, the elite fisherman, he gave me the idea of the mini shiner, and uh, I'll give you the, uh, the layout of all my names that I've come out with uh, in the description below or right about here. Um, on all the names that I've uh, figured out so far that I want to name my baits, uh, but I just want to thank you guys again for uh, for helping me supporting me uh, while making my baits, and hopefully I'll get some out uh, soon or later, uh, usually in 2010. And those of you who comment, uh, just as a late Christmas present, I'll send you guys a free package of whichever one you like, whether it be the Creeping Craw, the Little Emerald Shiner, or the uh, Deadly Seven uh, Worm, or some of my other uh, brands that I'll be coming out with later. So hope you guys stay tuned and have a Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.